why I'm like, well, before I dig into it and do anything crazy, I'm going to visit the expert. Yeah. And, um, then visit Susie after you visit the expert. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Right, right, right. You haven't steered me wrong yet. I just wish I had more patience when you told me things to do before. I just uh, kind of jumped in and did them anyway. I was like, yeah. I can see the point now. You know, that's the hardest thing to learn, and boy, it, it does sort of add up after a while. You do get that, um, and what I'm just, I mean, I know it, but I wouldn't do it because at first you want, you have a stringy tree, but it's your biggest one, and you don't want to mm -hmm. cut it back, but... Um, you're sitting there going, well, if I was really patient, I would do it, but mm -hmm. you know, exactly, yeah, I, like, I, I'm, I'm going to get into a pot. Yeah, and I want it to be my biggest one and all that. And just because it's a tall pencil doesn't mean it's a good tree. Totally. <laughs> but um, that's what I want to um, kind of push this year, like mitigate a problem early. Mitigate it now because you'll look at it years down the road and it'll be, you know, you've invested and it's still, you know, a two trunk thing like the beanie flipper is never going to be good. Yeah. So mitigate it. And I'm mitigating down there this year. <laughs> so, but um, which is the front that you have kind of? Actually, like kind of either this angle. Um, I kind of, well, it's, see, it's too heavy on this side. So and this is too heavy for a lower branch. I think it needs mm -hmm. to be thinned a little bit and some more mm -hmm. pad development, right? So I thought the other side would probably be the best yeah. because it comes back at you from that angle, but you have to hide this ugly scar in the front somehow. Yeah, and there's, you are right, there's a tiny bit of inverse taper right in here. Now, um, when we get kind of good at it, this might be a place for, you know, like try to graph depending on what you do. But um, here again, um, I think if it's positioned somewhat right and things are brought down just a hair, you know, yep. then that's a non-problem. And I think that's the graph, actually. And it's been a good graph that you can see, yep. you know, you, like right here. You can, you can see the bulge the mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. yeah. And like this, you probably could take your concave cutters and cut that Large. that one out, yeah. And well, we can see where this was a large branch at one point yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. And so, and that might be all you have to do is just get nervy and, and kind of perform an operation there. And even though you've got nice bark on it, depending on where you put it, you know, if it's, it, um, I think some about this is nice as well because how this comes at you. Yeah, it comes and back it, to you. Uh huh, and it's not going away. Um, I think this is a really important branch. Yeah, oh yeah. Really yeah, if you lose, if that mm -hmm. was to be gone, I think the whole, the, the whole mm -hmm. view of the tree is completely. And then, I don't know, a slight, uh, um, that might help a tiny bit too. You know, so this is just down a hair lower. And um, this is, these are sizable branches up there. And I think it makes it, I think it's nice. I don't often see the nice size branches up top. But um, yeah, this one, I think right in here, um, see how that's getting a knob. And so, that will be problematic because that's your eyes going right in there. Yeah. So um, this, I would think, I mean, you're going to do some serious thinning this year, and it might be this big guy. Let the thinner ones well, take that's over. I, <coughs> I was thinking that if I did cut here, it would be to cut this middle piece out potentially. Mm -hmm. I agree um, with you. That, and then develop these two as pads. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring this one towards that direction mm -hmm. and then bring this one maybe down and fill in mm -hmm. this gap this void mm -hm. here right so separate yep. and bring in mm -hmm. this big chunk at that point because I was looking at this at the house this this mass goes away and thins mm -hmm. out that angle a little mm -hmm. bit because I think there's definitely too much right here there's mm -hmm. too much right in here mm -hmm. and then the top but the, everything I've seen with larches and stuff I've read especially in Dave's book um, they're they're round so there's pads but they round the top mm -hmm. which is a great way to do it mm -hmm. uh, I just haven't had success in a lot of ways mm -hmm. with with doing that so that's why that's well why you're doing the here. right time because the buds are swelling nicely mm -hmm. no green showing and see right in here they're thinking about yeah there's a couple that uh -huh. are getting kind of waxy so um, t it would be a perfect time to do that and uh, doesn't all have to be but say them on 
you know, if you need to stand, that's the main one that I see. I think that's the balance right there to here. So yeah. that that that's working fine. Mm -hmm. This is working fine. Um, it's extremely <clears throat> so when this thing is when I got it. It is extremely dense. I mean, you can tell mm -hmm. by the amount of leaves and mm -hmm. needles that are still on here, right? Mm -hmm. um, when you go back and you thin, how how what is the process? I've seen tons of stuff on junipers and tons of stuff on elms and maples, mm -hmm. but not a lot on larches. Well, this is a, a quite a. I don't often see larches with this many buds tight close back. So you can see somebody's done a good job. The growth hasn't gone out in skinny Gunky. ones. Yeah, this this is good. So. Um, I think your first thing is like the ones underneath, like anything. Yeah, anything off. facing mm -hmm. down. And then um, with so many here, it depends on, uh, you know, if you're going to have it be what size, how, how long, you know. I think your point to bring, try and bring, to bring this down a bit, you know, this is going to be tough because that's going to be a lot of wire and a lot of... Mm -hmm. And, and um, this one has a, a, a uh -huh, and perhaps, you know, some of the new could, could fill in this way a tad. Um, so, so with the, with the lakiness now here at the, at the end, um, would you prune back some of these to one or two nodes? Yeah, and I think you could do like maple here. Okay, take that one off and those two. Um, the middles, uh, we're saying. Uh -huh. yep. and here, go to the direction you will want. Maybe here, this is a, a good one. Somebody, you know, this one here, probably this one, and maybe this one too. Um, just, just like you were doing a maple, or I think most anything is is like that. You know, you take the strong one out, leave the other two. Um, so, and you, if if you did, you can, you know, say say you wanted to go back to here and and bring it all in that tight. I don't see a reason for that because you've got ramification, which is nice. But uh, um, absolutely. And this one's long. This one's a bit underneath, but I leave both of these just because. Yeah. If you want them. That one's heavy, and it's facing. Uh -huh. it's facing the other tree, the same with that one, right? Yeah, and, and, and it won't do anything but get longer and be in the <coughs> way, so that that was a good call. Do you want to do any cutting now? Absolutely. Okay. If there's stuff you want to help me with, I'm... <laughs> well, let's, yes. Let's, are, you, are you kidding? <laughs> um, see, this one, I just, I'm going for um, direction, too, because, see, I would think something like that to get our you know, get our direction going, however, um, this one, I don't know, I would think maybe take something like, ooh, like that, and this guy, this well, let's just down. leave him, we'll see what happens with that, and see, this guy is weird, a little weird, don't you think, so let's go back to the strong on that, just a little bit like that, now, if you were, see, these are some good stuff down here, if you were to, you know, decide you wanted to go here you've got plenty to work with it's just how much length you want yeah well <clears throat> my thought is is like with the, with Dave Joyce's book his that he's got in there he's got probably five or six that are just incredible um, species and mm -hmm. or specimens and I'm trying to mimic the way he's he's molded his mm -hmm. and, and and that's the thing is he's went back way far yeah and and I think that's pretty standard for this um, and like in here, I think it's the start of a better pad if you, you don't have a, a leg. Yeah. yeah a well, hole. and they grow so fast in mm -hmm. the summertime when they're going, I, I don't mm -hmm. feel badly about cutting them, cutting them back. I, I, I've been an aggressive pruner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I learned with you guys that, you know, take, tr take some chances. Mm -hmm. You know, learn by, you make mistakes. And that's the greatest thing. I think that's the way that people should learn. Is, you know, obviously you want to learn the way to do things right, the correct way. You don't want to mm -hmm. be pot in August. But um, I'm bringing this to... heavier one that's back here to see what's uh -huh. going to happen. I hope that's a okay.
So do you agree that this would be a good front? Is that what you're thinking? Let's go. Yes, I think it is. Now I can see, okay, we got pads here. Got a pad here, pad here. Um, this, we're going to, um, you'll decide, I mean, I don't think it should be the exact same size, so I think a little height in here might be good. Do you? Yep. Like maybe to there? And then you're, keep bringing this in. And same with this, be a little careful here because the height in the back is important. Sure, to give you the back. Uh-huh. But there's plenty of But plenty it's still too, these are still too leggy, right? Oh, absolutely. Bring it, in, bring it in like right mm -hmm. in that area. Yeah, I think so. And then, <clears> and we'll, then this is going to be the, another big challenge right there. Yeah. But see, I want, yeah, I, I wanted these to be a little bit thinner, mm -hmm. but not so thin that they look off balance, right? Because right. the planning angle is going to come to where this is going to be more parallel with the ground, like we had said earlier. Yeah. So it'll probably be something like... Yeah, and see, and that's a big difference, and it's friendly. I can and see. Uh, yeah, and then this is young and pliable, so if you know, you could either do a little bit of a tip and a little bit of wire and bend, so the top is happy greeting instead of laying back. Right. That could be an issue if if you can't get it. I like that. I like removing this one. Uh huh. And then making this one right. Here, the apex. Uh -huh. Maybe even removing this one, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I, I, it just seems real me, heavy in that area. Yeah, and it's going out of the picture. You know, this uh -huh. here, our eyes coming back in. See how easy that is to keep yeah. looking. So um, I would leave this one because that's a yeah. nice one. So yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm, I'm And this time of year, I think that's a good tip to always leave on something big, a nub. You know, we almost are getting to need the next biggest size. Oh. I think it could go, unless yeah, you think no, you might it. need yeah, it. I think it's, yeah, I think, I got that one's yeah. enough. And I, I, yeah, I think that one would be the best one to save, the one that's got movement in it. Okay. Yeah, and, and right. let it die back and then, then you won't have any problem. I'll seal them now, but, you know, yeah. this year you're going to have that on and it doesn't matter when you pot it up. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of a lot of weight off that piece, and then you know, that maybe, that is such an important branch now, and that looks so yeah. great. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm happy that. about that. Down a little bit. Mm -hmm. over I think we'll be we're in good shape. Yeah. Now this is pretty. <clears throat> still pretty heavy, huh? Yeah, but still got some flexibility. I think you'll be able to wire that a little forward, don't you? Or. Yeah. Um, and maybe even just directional pruning, shortening some of these up. Absolutely. It might, once we get through cleaning up this section, it might be a little bit more apparent to us what we need to do. Don't you see this as traditional bonsai mm -hmm. uh, shape like that on the top? I do. Like right here we got it. And um, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm excited about that. Let's yeah. trim some more. <laughs> <laughs>
is a uh, recap of what this um, larch looks like after doing the work with Susie. Um, there's a few things I need to finish fixing here. Um, one is the apex, and we cut a ton of um, foliage off this guy. Um, this is the front where the, the chopsticks at, at least my chosen front for now. Um, the planting angle will be changed um, to probably something more along the lines of this right here. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> so the planting angle will be changed to something similar to this. Um, to get an idea, uh, this branch needs to be wired down a little bit, brought forward. Um, this one too, down to there. Um, the apex over here is going to be wired up. Maybe back, something like so. for now um, got some good flow and motion I may end up changing a few things here and there but I'm gonna wait and see how it goes this won't go into another pot <clears throat> this won't go into a pot for uh, at least until next year uh, if not maybe two years uh, as anxious as I am to get this into a new pot um, I want to do it right and make sure you know this tree is displayed for all its beauty and, um, I think this is gonna be a, a very very pretty tree when all is said and done, um, it's pretty now, and um, even more beautiful when it's in, you know, when it's actually got foliage on it. So, um, anyhow, thank you for watching. This has been a, a fun project working with um, I'm Susie. Thank you, Susie, for all your insight and help. Um, but give me feedback and let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to see um, how you guys feel. So, um, anyway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, give me any feedback or any questions you've got. Shoot them my way. Thanks. Appreciate you watching my videos. Have a good one.